hello, hello. I welcome you once again. And this is your online mathematics tutor, Comporta Malcomata. I believe you've been enjoying your class. And today, we are treating a different topic altogether, and that is probability. Good. So I have a nice story. There lived a boy who went out to play soccer. When he was going, he told his mother that he was going to win. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately for him, he lost the game. So in this case, you cannot predict or you cannot say for sure that there will be a win in this instance. But you can make predictions. You understand it? Good. That there will be a win. A lose or a draw. Good. Again, when you take a die, I believe you know what a die is. And you play it, there's the probability that you can get one, the possibility that you can get two, the possibility that you can get three, and up to six. When you also take a coin and you throw it, there is the possibility of you getting a head or a tail. And that leads us to what is called probability. So in this case, when you think about probability, it is the study of chance or the likelihood of an event happening. Now, I have some simple questions here, and I expect you pick your jaw test as we go through together. The first example I have there is a fair die is thrown. What is the probability of obtaining the number five? So you're going to solve all these questions under the question. But let's pick the first part of it. That is the A part. Before you solve any probability question, you have to know the sample space. So let's write a sample space for this question. Good. So when you take a die, you can get one, two, three, four, five, six. These are the possible outcomes. Then afterwards, Looking at our 
the number of times of getting the event and divide it by the total sample space. So this becomes
So this becomes zero. So it becomes zero over six, which is zero. So it means that it can never okay. Thank you so much. I have some nice try test for you. So let's write it and try it out you at home. the bird. 